Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use the morph tool to create something like this. So the outermost layer of this building here. I created this as a layer on top of the curtain wall behind it to make the to give the building a more a, just a nicer feel. So it's something like this. This is a close up of the same building. So basically a perforated wall but using the morph tool. So I have here a wall that I'm going to use as a backdrop for the perforated layer in front of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a section facing towards the wall. I'm going to open it. Okay, now that we have our section open and I just hit the story levels, I'm gonna draw, use the line to draw the perforations that I wanna have on the wall. So, just random shapes. I'm gonna go with something similar to what I had in the renderings that I showed you. Okay, so the thing uh, with using the morph tool is that you can't draw it out first so let's say the general shape of the morph I want it to be like that and after that I want to draw in the holes you can't you can't really do that so what you're gonna want to do is select your morph tool and then do the wall in sections so this is gonna be the first section the upper part so this is one then I'm gonna do the lower part these two and then I'm gonna do this middle part so these are all the morphs that we created as I said you can't make one and then create the holes you have to draw it out with the holes included if you understand what I mean okay so once you have the morphs drawn out in your section if you go to your plan view the morphs will be placed right here on the line of the section so you can move this back a little bit here are the morphs that we drew in the section okay if we go in our 3d view we can see them also at a big distance away from the wall wherever the section was so what I'm gonna do is select them all and drag them right on the line with the wall and then distance them, let's say, 10 centimeters. If I go back in my 3D view, it will look something like this. So with the morph tool selected, I'm gonna select all of them. Then I'm gonna click here on the face of the morph and then click here push and pull. And I'm gonna extrude them and let's say 5 centimeters and there you have it let's change the color of them to have them a bit more visible so that's how that looks once you finalized your shape and you're sure that this is how you want it to remain so no big changes from now on you can select them and convert selection to morph so that it becomes one morph not three so when you select one you select all of them so yeah this is how I created this look for an office building that I did back in college these are all these were all made out of morphs 
like I don't know maybe 20 on each on each side and then when I was done drawing them out I just did the create selection to morph thing and I was just I just had one element it was easier to work with like that okay I hope this video helps you out bye